Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And today I want to do a first look mini review of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch's new uniforms. But first, I do want to point out one good thing about the new Dimension missions that I was uh, made aware of by someone on Reddit. This is not something that I thought of. So big shout out to Prankster15 for pointing this out. I just read this a few minutes ago on Reddit. But check this out. For people who have inventory issues, you can spend all of the biometrics for characters that you now get from Dimension Mission Token Shop, from, from this token shop. So you can spend all your group bios, you can spend all your Loki bios, you can spend all your, you know, Inferno bios, Gwenpool bios, Vulture bios, spend all of those, um, you know, get them to zero, that will each unlock, each one you get to zero will give you one inventory space. And then you never have to accumulate their biometrics from shifters or whatever again. And then you can just save up tokens for when you actually need them. Let's say they get a new uniform. And then you can just purchase the tokens at the time. So that could actually, in some cases, if you are if you very aggressively manage your inventory, you could, you could open up about 34 spots on your inventory. One for each of these characters. Because now you have no way of farming them. You may get bios here and there for things like Alliance Battle, where you get 25 biometrics of a random character, which could include like Yondu, Nebula, Ant-Man, etc. Um, but it'll definitely permanently save you those spots for rarer characters, because you're never going to get Sister Grimm or Singularity bios, um, Vulture, Inferno, or Gwenpool. So that's at least five at minimum. Same thing with Kate Bishop um, and a few others. So that's actually a pretty cool sort of unintentional benefit of the new dimension missions i'm not saying it makes them amazing i'm not saying it takes away from all of the other problems like how are we going to farm uru obelisks and cards and bios at the same time but saving inventory i know is at the top of a lot of people's checklist for things that they need to do in marvel future fight so i wanted to point that out big shout out again once more to prankster 15 for for you know opening my eyes to that fact so now let me try to open your eyes haha <laughs> to uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch's uniforms. Now the thing about these uniforms, like Luna Snow's uniforms from the video, uniform from the video uh, yesterday or the day before, is that these ones need a microscope. You really need to look carefully at these uniforms because not only are they um, much more, I mean, not only are they expensive in the case that they're a thousand crystals, but they're much more expensive to rank up. So if you have, if you have this uniform at normal, it's not that big of a deal, but if you have it at Mythic, like a lot of players do, it is a big deal. Are you really going to go back and start from the beginning on a new uniform? Well, I think in Quicksilver's case, for a lot of people, they hate the look of the big Barney. So yeah, they're going to go for it anyways, just purely based on aesthetics. He looks a lot cooler now. The tornado is white. So I think for a lot of people, that helps. Um, but perhaps for Scarlet Witch, they don't like this classic look and they prefer her MCU look. So that might make it for them harder um, to accept, uh, you know, re-ranking up her uniform. So you have to take a look very carefully at what has actually changed. As far as Quicksilver goes, he really only got um, buffs or changes to five um, and two that you're going to notice um, quite a lot. So one, three, and four didn't really change all that much. Um, there may be some slight changes or I may actually say that they did change, but they, I don't think they really did change all that much. Um, but you will notice a big change on two and you'll notice a bit of a change on five. The biggest change I think obviously comes from his tier three, but that's not going to matter based on the uniform. Um, and then his uniform now also gives him a 10% attack speed buff, whereas before he only had the 10% uh, chain hit. So it's still pretty good. It's still synergized with the CTP of energy, but uh, there's no, um, well, there's the additional attack speed. So yeah. As far as the build goes, before we jump into some, some action here, we got 41 and 83 on the crits, and then we got maxed out ignore defense, and we have now almost maxed out attack speed, which is nice. You want to get through the animation on his fourth skill as fast as possible, and I'm also casually rocking 50% dodge. So let's jump into some content and see how he plays. For this first test, I just want to see how much damage Quicksilver is going to do in one minute. I think based on his build, you're still going to want to do the same old rotation which uh, you know hasn't really changed at all. You may be able to, if you're fast enough, 
um, and you're lucky enough, you can splash in the second skill with his rotation. But otherwise, this is pretty much what you want to do. You're going to pop the tier 3 skill. And yeah, he does a lot of damage with that. Um, using a very simplistic team, we're using you know Lizard and Shuri, um, but it's still basically the same rotation. That's kind of that's kind of the nice thing about Quicksilver is if you're used to his rotation, it hasn't changed at all. You're still gonna miss it sometimes. Like here, I missed the fourth skill um, buff here, but. Um, Ultimately, it's actually not as big of a deal now as it was before. There, we're going to pop over to the last phase already. Um, it's not as big of a deal now as it was before to miss the fourth skill, so to speak, because every second rotation that you miss the fourth skill, you can basically catch up to it by just doing the tier three skill. So that's m much more important. So he has one more big hitting skill. So that's the first thing I wanted to show you guys. It took us about uh, 45 seconds to get to uh, seven bars because it's kind of difficult with the test build to know, okay, how, how much damage did you really do, Senegalix? How, how good is tier three Quicksilver? Is the uniform really doing all that much? No, I mean, it's the tier three for the most part. So the first thing we can do um, is we can swap over to his old uniform and basically just do the same thing again. And we can see how much of it is really the new uniform. What I can say from my initial impressions and little bit of testing is it seems like his fifth skill might do a little bit more damage, but I don't think it does like a ton more damage. His second skill does a lot more damage, but finding a place for his second skill is really the challenge. Um, with his old uniform, with this uniform, you can just cancel two right away to get those tornadoes. Now the tornadoes don't do much damage on his old second skill. Uh, you know, the, the, the one I'm using right now, the, the second skill tornadoes really don't do that much damage. But that's not really why you're using them. In this case, you're only using the tornadoes to charge up the tier three skill. Because if you don't use the two skill, you are missing a few percentage points. You can miss the you can miss the um, the tier three skill charge up uh, at certain times. So that's why you splash in the two. Um, we're going to just keep playing through this just so you guys can get a, an idea of what's going on. I did get interrupted, so that's going to affect my final clear speed for this. But we're going to pop the tier three. And you're going to see that it's... Well, I, I missed the proc a little bit. But you, you can tell that it's pretty similar. I missed the proc and I got interrupted on my other proc. Otherwise, we would have been um, very, very close, if not identical, to the amount of time spent. Now, this is a pretty low level... Uh, I'm not using, uh, you know, I'm not using a, uh, let me try this again, because this, this makes it look like he's way slower. Anyways, I'm not using strikers, I'm using a simplistic team, it's stage 38 with this raid level in my cards. So yeah, it's, this is what makes the test server a little bit more difficult, it's, we can't go all the way up. I wish they would maybe unlock all of the world boss ultimate stages, if there was like a, a piece of code in, in the game to do that for the test server, that would help, because then you can ramp it up to a really high stage and you can get a better impression for some of these things, because when you do this much damage, 45 seconds is just not enough time. It blurs the line between one uniform and another, um, and then it's hard to tell what's happening based on the uniform and what's happening just based on the tier 3 skill. So here we go, we're going to pop that. We did miss the uh, the proc, but we still did a lot of damage. Um, it seems like his tier 3 skill doesn't proc very well uh, your damage proc or your CTP of energy. It doesn't have a lot of hits at the beginning of his tier 3 skill, so you'd want to do 5 into 6. That's, that's, so, that's sort of how I feel. Again, I'm not going to confirm and say that that's absolutely 100% true. Um, but this is just how I feel, and I actually let the, the let the five run a little bit. But there you go. This is a much better, this is a much cleaner run, and that's basically the exact same time. It's like 47 seconds. So yeah, at at least at this stage, it's hard to say that he's doing that much. That is that you know the damage that he's doing is based on his tier th his uh his uniform rather than his tier three skill. So that doesn't really bode well for the uniform. Aesthetically, it's beautiful. The 10% attack speed is nice. It's helpful. Um, but now I want to show you guys one more thing before we jump over into Scarlet Witch. Take a look at his second skill damage. We're not going to proc or anything. We're just going to do the second skill. Look how much damage this does. Yeah, okay. It's it's pathetic, yeah? It's like tickle, it's tickle damage. So again, this is something that doesn't necessarily um, matter for every build and every uh, game mode, but it, it does, you know, it is worth pointing out because it's a pretty big difference for one particular skill. Don't really see any changes on 3 and 1 and 4's damage. 5 has changed visually and there's new SFX, but I don't really tell too much of a damage dip bump. But 2 is very obvious. Not only does it allow you to proc your obelisk, but you can see here that it's it's quite a bit more damage. It's like 2 or 3 times more damage. Um, and if you proc your, your CTP or your obelisk, it does even more damage um, because it actually is doing damage now. So 
when it procs, it does even more damage. You kind of get what that means. Um, so that might compound itself more with a CTP of Rage. I don't know if Rage is good on him. I might do some more testing later on, but I just want to point that out. Now moving on to Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch, like Quicksilver, in my opinion, doesn't really get a lot of skill changes from what I can see. Um, from what I can tell, 1, 3, and 4 are exactly the same, but she did get changes on 2 and 5. So... If this sounds familiar, I just said the exact same thing for Quicksilver. The difference with Scarlet Witch is that her new second skill, uh, as far as my playstyle goes, you can instantly cancel it and you can still get those attacks. So you still get some of that mind resistance down. Whereas with the old Scarlet Witch, she has to sit there throwing the rocks. And if you cancel it, you don't get uh, the rocks. Uh, additionally, with her old fifth skill, you can't cancel it um, until she, the meteor starts to come down and she's riding it. Otherwise, you don't get the Meteor at all. Um, the, the, her new 5th skill is the same way. You, you can't cancel it um, until the midway point. Otherwise, you miss this sort of like beam attack in the middle. But um, my overall opinion of her right now is... And I don't really like playing a Scarlet Witch that much. But my opinion overall right now is that it's easier to... Um, it's easier to consistently proc her, uh, her damage proc or her CTP using um you know one set rotation my opinion or my sort of uh criticism of scarlet witch in the past has been that uh you sometimes don't get the proc to land properly on skills and so you're you know you're doing four cancel five and sometimes it doesn't proc because there's just not enough hits or you do four cancel three and sometimes it doesn't proc because there's not enough hits so you do four cancel five it doesn't proc so then you just quickly tap the three to hopefully proc on the third skill and not proc at the end of the fifth skill and ruin your damage. Um, now, there's a lot more hits at the beginning of five, so I think it's much easier to um, proc at the beginning. So we're going to go over here and just do this, and you can see that it's much, much easier to just proc right at the beginning, um, and you don't miss anything. Now we're going to instant cancel two, four, five, and you can see that it's, it's much, much more consistent, in my opinion anyways. Um, it's much, much more consistent, and I really like the 2 cancel, 4 cancel, 5. It's very frenetic, it's very, um, it's very tight, but, um, you know, I'm not missing any procs. I literally, I literally did not miss a single proc. That's, that's the thing I really like about this change. Um, it makes her much more consistent for timing the proc, which means that for people that don't have a CTP of Rage on her, this is definitely an improvement. Now, I can't say that it's a gigantic improvement. I don't want to oversell this uniform for you guys and make you think that you have to purchase it. But I am testing this with a CTP of Rage, and that would be the same sort of timing and consistency using a, you know, double mind damage obelisk. And that's sort of the annoying thing that I found with this unit, with this old uniform, is that she was not consistently procking, um, you know, on her, on her, on her rotation. And sometimes you would just miss it. So I'll show you guys now what I'm talking about. Um, we might get lucky. And everything might run smoothly, but we might not. And then that's that's kind of the annoying thing about about Scarlet Witch is, um, you know, yeah, three, four, and five all do good damage, which means you can proc on any of those skills. But it's nicer to just have a set rotation and be able to, um, you know, focus on your timing rather than focusing on other things. So there we kind of missed it. I think it ended up landing on the fourth skill. So this is sort of what I'm talking about. Um, there we accidentally, actually, you know what? That's that's not a really good start here. L let me, we'll be we'll be fair to this Scarlet Witch, this old Scarlet Witch uniform. I don't want people to think uh, that I'm not playing well. We got a bit unlucky there. I shouldn't have pressed the third skill at all in that case. Um, but basically what happened was we procced at the end of the fourth skill um, before we were able to cancel into five and that's why the damage was pretty bad. But yeah, this is kind of what I'm saying about consistency. Um, with Scarlet Witch, it's much more consistent with the uh, with the new uniform. So yeah, there we sort of got it to proc on uh, her um, her fifth skill. There we did get it to proc on her fifth skill. So she still has monster damage for sure. Um, but is there a cooldown issue as well? I have to actually double check that. She still has monstrous monstrous damage if you can get the proc to land properly. Um, but with this rotation, you see, I can't even really do the third skill um, because of the fact that uh, there's just not enough time in between and I have to focus on canceling four into five instantly. It's pretty much the same time. I think I'm about five or six or seven seconds behind her old uniform 
And yes, this uniform is mythic, whereas the other one's heroic. Um, but I don't think there's going to be... I don't think there's a huge damage difference between these two uniforms. Let me just double check the cooldown here. Because we got 15, 13, 15, 8... I'm not even going to remember this. Okay, whatever. What was it? 15, 13, 15? 15, 13, 15, 8... Eight. Okay, so it actually hasn't changed. It felt like it changed, which is weird. Uh, but yeah, overall, I think that this uniform definitely needs more testing, but it does seem to me to be a smoother rotation or, or like a smoother combination of, of skills when you rotate through them that um, more consistently lands your proc on the right skill to, to buff the damage at the right time every time or most of the time anyway. I still did miss a couple of procs here and there, a couple of damage buffs here and there. But it was much less frequent. So yeah, uh, as far as the um, optional uniforms go, really quickly, I don't have them all. But we've got, let's see here, Moon Girl, Doctor Strange, Star-Lord GOTG2. That's Doctor Strange from the original Marvel's Doctor Strange. And then we've got Crystal Fantastic Four. And I think the last one is Cull Obsidian um, from Infinity War, I believe. And then for Quicksilver, we have uh, Ronin. Proxima Midnight, Infinity War, Invisible Woman, Black Widow, and then Wolverine X-Force. So let me know what you guys think of the brother and sister combo here, Wanda and uh, Pietro Maximoff. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you again soon. Take care.